Hey everyone, how's it going? It's the Feed Channel again. NFTs are without a question one of the hottest topics on the web right now at the moment and it doesn't look like the NFT craze is slowing down anytime soon. If you want to jump in the wagon right now and sell your NFT art, it's not that late actually. In this video guide, I'll show you how to create and sell an NFT on the marketplace called OpenSea. So it is most well-established NFT marketplaces in the world. So grab yourself a coffee, make yourself comfortable and let's begin. Okay, I assume if you're watching this video, most probably you've heard about Beeple selling his NFT for millions of dollars and other high profile cases. With so much money flowing in this industry, it's no wonder why so many people are running into this NFT space. So an NFT or non-fungible token could be a drawing, a painting, maybe a doodle, song, a video clip, or even a screenshot or tweet or just a meme. So it's pretty much anything else you can think of. So if you have something to offer to this world, why not to digitize it and sell it on OpenSea? So long story short, to make that happen, you need three things. First, a content to tokenize, obviously. Then you need a crypto wallet and an NFT marketplace. In our case, it is OpenSea but you can consider other marketplaces as well. So, are you ready to sell your NFTs? Let's get started. To create your NFT on OpenSea, you will need to pay gas fees because this marketplace is based on the Ethereum blockchain. So the first step is to buy some Ethereum or ETH coins. One of the easiest ways to buy ETH is directly from your OpenSea account once you have it set up. To purchase ETH from inside your OpenSea account, you should go to your wallet and click the Add Funds button in the top right on your profile. You can also buy Ethereum with an exchange like Coinbase or Binance or by using a wallet like my Ether wallet or Metamask. Some wallets even let you buy crypto with a credit card or bank transfer or even Apple Pay. For instance, Coinbase lets you buy up to a thousand bucks a day in a crypto using PayPal. Now that you know how to buy Ethereum, it's time to set up your wallet. If you're going to use uh, the Ethereum ecosystem, you will need a crypto wallet like Metamask. Metamask is a cryptocurrency wallet that allows you to access websites that integrate Ethereum, where you can buy, store, send, and even swap tokens on the blockchain. I think Metamask is a great place to start, especially if you are new to the NFT and a crypto space. It is very easy to use and only takes a few minutes to set up it. So how we install Metamask into browser? So first you go to metamask.io and choose whether you want to install it from your browser or maybe you want to use iPhone or Android device. Then you select install Metamask for Chrome if you're using Chrome. Select add to Chrome then and then select get started. So thus you create a wallet and you should also create a password for that. Click here to reveal secret words and then select each phrase in the correct order to uh, confirm the secret phrase that you've seen. And after that you should click on confirm. Please remember that your secret backup phrase is critical phrase that you must save in a secure location. It's just because if you forget your secret backup phrase, you will lose anything in the wallet and it can never be recovered at all. That's why it's always recommended to write down your secret phrase on paper and store it on multiple locations and even put somewhere secure like a safety deposit box or external encrypted hard drive. Okay, now that your crypto wallet is installed, it's high time to set up your OpenSea account and connect your wallet address to your profile. So here are some few steps and step number one, head to the website called OpenSea.io and select profile in the top right corner. Step two is go through the prompts to finish connecting your wallet. When you see connecting, you are almost there. And step number three is select the gear icon on the right side of your screen to personalize your account. When you create your OpenSea account, your account name automatically defaults to unnamed, so make sure you edit this. As always, customize your OpenSea profile, add some social media links, edit your username, bio, email address, you know, uh, anything else you see on the screen. So that's pretty much it. Now that your OpenSea account is set up, it's time to add a new item or non-fungible token to your collection. You can add an item to your collection in a couple of ways. 
And even if you are artistically talented, you can create your own item and upload it directly into OpenSea collection. Or in other case, you can purchase an NFT from NFT marketplace. In this one, we will review the first option. So we should first go to OpenSea.io and then click create in the top right corner. You will be taken to the item creation page where you can add and edit all of your information. Step number two here is upload your file and complete the fields. On this page, you can upload an NFT file, name it and add an external link in a description. OpenSea allows you to upload any image, video, audio or even 3D model to create your NFT. However, they do recommend keeping your file size under 40 megabytes for faster load times, but the maximum file size here it is 100 megabytes supported. You can see all the file types supported in this screenshot. Okay, step number three, add properties and information about your item. With OpenSea, you can place your NFT in an existing collection and then add properties or traits and then maybe levels, stats, and even unlockable content like bonus content for buying your artwork. Adding properties and unlockable content help make your NFT artwork or collection rarer and potentially more valuable. You can also select which blockchain you want to mint your NFT on. OpenSea offers cross-blockchain support across Ethereum, Polygon, and a newly blockchain called Clayton. Okay, once you've finished customizing your NFT and chose the blockchain, click create and that's it pretty much. Hooray, you've just created your first NFT on OpenSea. Congratulations. Once you've created your NFT, it will show up on your profile where you can list it for sale. And here comes the most important part of the video. So pay attention to that. So are you ready to sell some NFTs? Follow these steps to sell NFT art on OpenSea. Okay, as always, visit OpenSea.io and log in into the account. Then we click on profile in the upper right hand corner. Browse your NFT collection and click on the NFT you'd like to sell. Once you've found the NFT you'd like to sell, select sell on the top right hand corner of the page to be taken to the listing page. Then you should choose how to sell your NFT. This is where you will choose the price, type of auction, duration of the sale and the type of buyer. There are two types of auctions on OpenSea. So first it's fixed price and a time auction. Now choose how long your item will be listed for sale. The default option are one day, three days and a week, but you can choose any duration you'd like using the calendar. Lastly, you can choose to sell your NFT as a bundle or reserve it for a specific buyer. If you would like to reserve your NFT for a specific buyer, then you simply turn on the toggle and paste their address into the field reserved for a specific buyer. You may notice here that there are two types of fees listed, a 2.5% service fee and a 5% creator royalty fee. As a creator on OpenSea, you can choose to make a royalty every time your NFT is sold. Other fees can vary depending on how many people are trading on the blockchain, but the highest percentage that can be deducted from the NFT on OpenSea here is 12.5%. If it's your first time selling an NFT on OpenSea, you will have to complete the two one-time transactions. The first one to initialize your wallet to make sale orders. And the second one to allow OpenSea access your item or collection when a sale occurs. You will only be required to pay these transactions fees once. After completing those steps, a pop-up will appear and you'll have to approve a signature request to finalize your NFT listing. And yeah, that's it. You have successfully listed your NFT for sale on OpenSea. Once your NFT has been minted, the transaction in any NFTs you list for sale in the future will appear under the activity tab on your profile. So any user looking to purchase your NFT on OpenSea can view the transaction history of your NFT at any time on the blockchain. Remember that this information will live on the blockchain forever and it cannot be hidden, edited or deleted. You can also view the sale activity for any other NFT or NFT collections on OpenSea. All you have to do just to search for the NFT or the NFT collection on OpenSea and click the activity tab on the NFT profile. For example, on this screenshot here, you can see all the sales activity in the last 90 days for Board API Club. Okay, if you're thinking about creating and selling NFT art, the time is now. 
Believe me, the NFT craze is far from over. NFTs has given artists and content creators a reliable way to make money and showcase their artwork. So if you draw or maybe make music or even funny memes and all this stuff of Genji content, this is a great way to monetize your talent. However, it is imperative to create a strong NFT marketing and promotional strategies for your digital artwork or NFT collection. It is a must here. And if you want us to review NFT marketing strategies like this, please write us down in the comment section down below. And yeah, guys, that was it for today. I hope this video was useful to you. And if you like the content that you see, please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to turn the bell notification on to not miss our coming videos. See you soon in the next videos.